Oh, it's Friday. Yes. Feels good in here. It has been miserably hot this week. Yeah. Bye. Uh, it, it's been an adventurous week starting on Sunday. Uh -oh. I don't know if y'all got hit by the weather or not. Oh, yeah. yeah. So we actually, if anybody follows us on Facebook, we were not able to run our route Monday due to the weather. So Sunday night, we were sitting there, no big deal. Mother-in-law calls, hey, it's supposed to get stormy. So we said, okay, you know, not, don't think nothing else about it. So Michael, we finished supper, him and our little boy we call Bubba, they went and sat out on the porch to watch the storms roll in. So it was coming from the side of our house beautiful i mean it's blue skies here black yeah. over here and next thing we know is michael says can you hear that wind and i said yeah don't think nothing about it and uh it starts lightning so we have the kids come inside and we said if you want to look at the lightning go to the window in the living room and watch because it's on that side well next thing we know is it gets black lightning everywhere the wind and trees start snapping mm -hmm. so we're sitting on our porch and stuff starts flying everywhere and my it'd be like, kid's grandmother lives directly across from us and his uncle does too and she had nine trees just oh, man. snap so it was interesting to say the least and then our neighbor to the side of us had one that whenever Michael was standing at the side of the house it looked like it actually landed on the front Holy so cow. Michael's instinct is to go help make sure everybody's okay so which he did and luckily she had just made it inside and it landed like inches from her front of her house so she had just got back home and michael he went out and we were the without power from seven or eight mm -hmm. to four the next day that's, that's what in the evening was. So oh, we, we just, got ours back our, that morning but man it, throw, was, it was bad yes i'm throwing out there it was four in the evening not four in the morning <laughs> So we had to go all night and then, of course, trying to make sure everybody was okay. So yeah. his grandmother actually slept through it. So it was, we were blessed to say the least because it went, the trees fell this way and her house is literally surrounded by them. So wow. that's why he's not here today. He is in the process of all week doing storm damage. She's living, right? Yes, Definitely. she is. <laughs> 90 years old and bless her heart, she just slept right through it. But that's why he's not here today. He is doing storm cleanup and yeah he's you know well, she's of, living right for a while to fall everywhere and miss her just to give a backstory there so <laughs> that's why we're complaining about the heat <laughs> it has been miserably hot this week yes. bad 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 well what kind of new and exciting stuff have we got this week well honestly we got some of the grip edge in the extractors okay so michael's not here to explain them and I can give you a gist of them, but he okay. does the best demo. So let me see which ones. I guess we'll do, it's this box. Okay. That's the broken bolt extractors. Okay. I'll let you, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> and then, so, you know, it comes with a drill bit or the, is it, it's left-handed drill right. bits, right? Don't let me pronounce it wrong. So the great thing I like about this, honestly, is the case. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's labeled good and I mean, yeah. I mean, they go together. So, so you have those, and correct me if I'm wrong, right? So, okay. you put one in on which end's which. <laughs> okay, so the way this works, put that back together. Okay. All right, so if that's for like, if you got a, let's say this is a, a bolt that's broken off, okay? Gotcha. Even with anything else. You would drill out the top of it and then you would drive that into the hole you drilled and then once you pull it out okay then you can twist that down and remove the bolt off the end of it see look you do That's better demo than i do but we have those we have the stars you know mm -hmm. we had the hex i hate calling so them stars they're I called do. torch bits <laughs> And See, I think Grip Edge didn't want to pay the little extra money to, to use the word Torx, but well, that's okay. I'm going to call them Torx. Look, honestly, the stars go on a flag, Torx goes in cars, right? Exactly. <laughs> so you have those yep. and well, the trucks are yep. moving, so it's kind of vibrating a little bit. So that's the master set. So it's yes. got quarters, 
three eighths, and then the T60 is yeah. a half inch. So, Torx. Yep. So and they look like the. You got a hex? You don't have yes. a hex set out, do you? I will get one real quick. Because everybody gets them confused because they, the hex do look like Torx. They do, and I, hex I'll be are honest. Hex and Torx are Torx. Exactly, and I'll be honest. So whenever we first got them on the truck, I. Michael had them first, and I wouldn't brush stuff on them, mm -hmm. to say the least. So he had to correct me because they said, well, these are torques, right? And I said, yeah, sure. You know, because I was like, they, look like them, they right? do. Because, I mean, if you take one of ours, that is a Torx, yep. which is right here. I mean, they, well, look. they call Star, we call Torx. Right. There. So we're going to put them side by side together, and I'm going to show you guys how you can tell them apart. Exactly. So yes, I double they checked look them. A lot. They do. So let's find one that's close to the same size. All right. So we have a. All right. This one and this one. Now then, when you put them side by side, you can see the difference. So the hex is designed to work like a wedge, where that pushes outward on the strip portion. So now you can see the difference. The torx actually it looks like a torx. Exactly. When you put it side by side. But when you're just looking at that, those look like torque. Exactly. So, and I'll give you an example. So this is a 20. Let's see. We'll just take, we'll take a smaller one. Yeah. All right. So this is ADV Maco. And this is the grip edge. So, though of course they're different sizes. Mm -hmm. But you can tell the difference the way you see that cut in that one and like you said in that yeah. one so i mean honestly it's hard to tell them apart exactly but they work different though have y'all got any feedback on how well they work from customers we have a customer who bought the whole set of them they bought all of them at the same time mm -hmm. and honestly he said i don't even use my other ones because you can the hex are soft enough or not aggressive enough to actually harm something that's not stripped right. out yet so he's like why don't i go ahead and use this mm -hmm. that way it don't strip out well see that's the misconception where mac in my opinion messed up when they launched them because they exactly. sold them as extractors only when they're truthfully they're made to use all the time so. well see that was what our big thing was and that's what sold a lot of them i'll be honest is Whenever you have something that's not going to sit there just waiting on something to be messed up, mm -hmm. use them beforehand it's before prevention. it messes. That's exactly. The key, right? I mean, honestly, if you could prevent a lot of stuff, <laughs> why not? <laughs> no kidding. Wait, why wait till it blows up and breaks up? Exactly. So I mean, it. and then you already have it out there. So mm -hmm. if something does pull up and it has that, uh, it's already stripped out. Tap it in. You know, go ahead. But the good thing is you have both of your master sets right there, right? And I think we sell the bigger set of the extractors also. Yeah, y'all have the socket extractors. They're, uh, I've seen them. They're mm -hmm. up there, I think. Yes. So y'all got the broken bolt extractors. You yes. got the hex and you got the torques. Yes, and then we have the... And here's the socket extractor. Yeah. I know I've seen them somewhere. So, I mean, you have your full set of you them got there. got it all so. covered. I mean, it comes in handy. And yep. then, you know, I mean, you well, don't I have haven't to. done a giveaway in a long time. All right. Long time. So, I think I want to give away a Matco Ratchet. Well, pick a color. How about you pick the color that we'll give away? Hmm. Let's see. Honest opinion. You're a tech. I'm not. I have a black chrome ratchet that I mm -hmm. change oil with <laughs> and spark plugs and stuff like that but anyways do you like black chrome or chrome i like chrome better than the black finish myself all right personally just because it stays looking chrome where I the black you. does work because I, I bought a black and orange one from you guys so you already and have the, the black chrome so. and the black looks pretty rough i got you <laughs> all right so I think the chrome, like it does get scratched up, but like over the lifetime, it's still chrome. Exactly. Like it's still shiny. Where my black's now shiny and 
black, yeah. if that makes sense. Yeah, well, um, let's just say that I was helping Michael change the oil on the Tundra, and you have a Tundra, so mm -hmm. you know that Toyotas have that filter Chemistry. on there, yeah. and it's like, ugh. So this last time, I changed it all by myself, did everything, you know, Look all by you. myself. And we're on rock. We have gravel in our driveway. So I throw some boxes down, get one of those pads, lay on top of yeah. it. So I'm not laying on the ground. Well, my son thought it'd be fun to take my ratchet and throw it in rocks. So yeah. It's scratching all yes, up. Yes, scratched it all up. <laughs> so yeah, we'll, we'll see it with chrome on that one. I have a chrome and purple. Since purple is my color, blue is my color. Okay. So let me grab Let's it. Let's give away a, a purple chrome finish ratchet today. Brand new. So it's brand new. Oh, let me turn it this way because. Brand new, never been used. And uh, we're going to give that away. So like this. this is how you can win this Matco ratchet. All you got to do is you got to follow my channel first, right? Exactly. I'm going to give you something. At least give me a follow. And subscribe. That's right. Hit the thumbs up and then just say, I want to win that ratchet. And then two and weeks. purple is my favorite. <laughs> in two weeks, <laughs> we will uh, we will go through the comments and pick a winner, and I'll ship you that chrome purple Matco Lock and Flex Head 3H Drive ratchet that happens to be in my favorite length because I think that's the best length of all ratchets right there. Well, can't beat that. We'll throw in that free hat back here. Okay. <laughs> There you go. I want a hat too. So you'll get a ratchet and a Matco hat. See. And all you got to do is make sure you're following the channel, hit the like button, and say, I want to win that that ratchet. That's pretty simple. Easy I mean, enough, right? Exactly. All right, guys. So there you go. If you need anything, uh, just leave a comment, and we'll try to answer any questions that you have and let you look at whatever you want to see. Yep. Like always, it is Friday. Finally. Friday. Bye. Thank you. God, it's Friday. <laughs> and we got a long weekend coming up too. Yes. Hey, oh, speaking of that, people that are on our route that follow us, we will not be working next week. So working. the yeah, whole week? The whole Ooh, week. Ooh, girl. Yes. Y'all got so, me. We did good this week. There yeah. you go. But also, if y'all need anything that are on our route, mm -hmm. let us know because we have our phones on us. We're gonna be around the corner. So Sure. And I've told them we've already got stuff that we've got to drop off. We'll drop it off in our personal. If you happen to need anything warranted at the time, just let us know. There you go. So. It'd be nice if you guys would just hang on to it till they get back from vacation. That way they get a chance to hey, You know, we have there some of know. those that, you know, they will, but That's others, you know, you never know. So we're not drawing <laughs> for the ratchet this next Friday. It'll be the next Friday. All right. So. That's when it'll be. All right, guys. Like always, if you like this video, hit that thumbs up. Check over here for merchandise. Cool tools and discount codes is down here. And if you're not subscribed, you take your finger and you click that button. Y'all have a great week. Weekend. See ya.